Pastor Thomas here, and we're looking at the Lord's Prayer. And the Lord's Prayer is broken up into these petitions, and a petition is just what we're asking God to do. And today we're going to look at the third petition, which is, Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, what does it mean when we pray for, in the, what do we pray for in the third petition? We're asking God to make us able and willing to serve Him on earth as He is served in heaven. Now, first, we need to understand that when we're asking God to do something, this is very, very important. In our house, we ask each other to do things when we're unable to do it. So I'm really, really tall, so I get asked a lot to reach things that are tall, high up, and I'm able to do that. And we're asking God to help us because we are unable to help ourselves. And we're asking God to make us able and willing to serve Him. Now, you have a mom and a dad, and I have a mom and a dad, and our moms and dads have moms and dads, and their moms and dads have moms and dads. And it goes right back to the very first parents, our parents, Adam and Eve. And they were in the garden, and God told them to do His will, not to eat of the forbidden fruit. But they did. They disobeyed God. And this is Adam and Eve's first sin, the first sin of our parents, and that actually affects us. What effect does sin, Adam's sin, have on you and me and all people? We are born guilty and sinful. And how sinful are you and I by nature? We are corrupt in every part of our being. Now this is not very good news. The corrupt means something is wrong within us, that we're not made the way God had made us. Now, I used to work on houses all the time, and I sometimes would go into this house and it looked fine, but then I would pull off the walls and I'd notice that it wasn't fine, that it was rotten on the inside, that maybe termites had got in there or water had got in there where water wasn't meant to be. And it had made the, the building not strong. And this is what we are like on the inside. Now, we get taught by our parents to do lots of things. You know, to say thank you and please and to listen when we're being spoken to. To, to say thank you. To uh, be nice to other people. And we have to be taught these things. But what it means that we're guilty and sinful is that there are some things that we don't have to be taught. That we know what to do on the, uh, from the very start, from when we're born. No one has to teach you to be selfish. There's something, a part of us, that wants to get more toys for ourselves and more things for us. There's something that, that we don't need to get taught how to disobey, that it, we have to get taught how to obey our parents. Something about how we can think bad things or say bad things with our mouth or do bad things with our hands. And we don't have to get taught how to hit our brother. We don't need to be taught how to be angry in a wrong way. We don't need to be taught how to say bad words with our mouth. A lot of times these are things that we're, we don't need to get taught because they're in us. We don't need, get, need to get taught how to steal or how to lie. But what we're doing in the third petition is we're asking God to help us, to actually make us able and willing to serve Him. So instead of being selfish, we're generous and we give things away. Instead of being selfish and trying to go first all the time, we might say to others, you go first. We might be humble as Jesus was humble. Instead of being disobedient and disobeying our parents, God is able to make us able and willing to obey our parents, to do His will, to honor our moms and our dads. Instead of being... Uh, doing bad, saying bad things with our mouth, or thinking bad things with our mind, or doing bad things with our head, hands, God is able to make us able and willing to say good things with our mouth, to think good thoughts, and to do good things. And God is the only one that can help us do those things. Instead of wanting to steal, we want to give. Instead of wanting to lie, we tell the truth. And this is what we're praying for in the third petition. We're asking God to help us. We're asking God to make us able and willing to serve Him. 
to serve him on earth just as he has been served in heaven. 